Hello YouTube, this is Red Schultz and in today's show will be showing you how to create a soft body or soft object in Cinema 4 DR12. Um, and this is the final product of what it's going to look like when we're done. So as you can see there's a cube and it's soft and I'll play this for you again so that you can see that the cube uh, is a soft object. As you can see it bends and when the spheres fall on top of it it bends. Okay, uh, and if we render this, uh, it's pretty cool, the spheres glow, and yeah, it's just a really nice effect. Um, let's create a new scene, and go to render settings, output 1280 by 720. Okay, uh, let's create a plane. Let's enlarge it. Okay, let's create a cube. Okay, to make this cube a uh, soft body in R12, it's pretty easy. Just select the cube, go to Simulation Dynamics, Soft Body. Uh, okay, and there's gonna be. An wait, wait. I made a mistake. Uh, well, like it's not actually a mistake. I forgot something. Also, you need to add um, add a dynamic to plane. So go to simulation dynamics and create collider. Do the plane. Okay. So now now we can move on. So now something's gonna happen if we play. As you can see, it's not even a uh, soft body. So to make it soft body, select the cube and go to object and increase the segments to six in every uh in every side okay so now we get six on every side and now as you can see it's um it's a soft body and if we drag this up and play it's gonna bounce a bit so that's pretty nice um okay So, next thing we want to do is create those uh, little spheres that I showed you. Okay, let's create a sphere, decrease it size. Okay, now let's uh, create a um, create a material for it. Okay, double look. Then um, color. Let's go with orangish. Okay, then reflect, I mean not reflection, luminance, luminance orange, okay, texture, gradient, then on the dark side, put dark orange, and on the light side, put light orange close to, ye close to yellow, okay good looking better okay um now mix strength this decrease that to 90 and brightness increase that a little bit okay so then drag it over to the sphere then uh copy and paste the sphere a few times so control c control v then control v control v control v until you have enough spheres and just drag them all up into a row Okay. Okay. So we got five spheres. And let's select all of them. Shift and then just select. And then drag them all up. And let's uh, rewind and play this again. So the cube drops. Oh. We need to increase the frames right there where my mouse is. Just go up and increase the amount of frames as much as you need to. And let's play this. <laughs> I guess I put the spheres too high. Or, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I didn't add the dynamics to the spheres. Okay, so, so all the spheres selected go to simulation dynamics. 
uh, create a rigid body. Okay, now now it's gonna work. So as you can see, the spheres fall on top of it. It's pretty cool, a really cool looking effect. Uh, yes, now what we need to do is create our lighting scene and add materials and add the materials to this cube also so go to a preset a material preset here and uh, where I go is go to presets prime materials and uh, misc and in misc I found fabric cloth so drag this in here and then drag it over to our uh, cube okay now we got materials on the cube and everything now we need uh, we need to create our lighting scene so create a sky create a material may uh, uncheck uh, specular and make them uh, color black drag this over to the sky then create a plane increase the plane a little bit and then drag it up so that you can see it and then create another material okay uh, uncheck color uncheck specular check luminance and luminance color a little bit uh, orangish just a tiny bit and keep the brightness at around 50 or 60 and then drag this over to the plane that you just created um, excuse me um, okay so now what we need to do is uh, just go to uh, render settings effect uh, ambient occlusion global illumination on global illumination go to area then sketch stochastic samples low and record density low um, go to options shadow depth uh, 6 and ray depth 6 and then uncheck voluminous unless you're going to use it okay and let's revi rewind this and you know play it until the point where we want to stop and just uh, render So as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Uh, we can still see a little bit of uh, borders of the plane, of the floor. So let's just increase the uh, plane until we can't see the borders. Okay. So now let's render this again. so that's looking quite nice uh, it's pretty good in my opinion uh, and that's pretty much it for the tutorials for the tutorial I mean uh, thank you for watching guys uh, please thumbs up the video please subscribe I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in my next tutorial